Good news if you're struggling to pay your rent. The nationwide pause on evictions will remain for another month. The CDC decided today to extend its moratorium again through July, but leaders say this will be the last extension. Eugene Daniel has the story. On Thursday, the CDC said an unexpected and avoidable surge of evictions is likely if the moratorium ended on the previously scheduled date, June 30th. It also referenced studies showing communities with the most eviction filings have the lowest levels of COVID-19 vaccinations. As the housing authority, the last thing we want to do is evict any resident for a rent related matter during this pandemic. Jennifer Moore with the Norfolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority said they are ready to assist the thousands of people housed through the agency. The NRHA oversees public housing and housing choice vouchers, also known as Section 8. In both cases, tenants should let them know as soon as possible about any income changes or if they know rent will be a challenge. Because if we don't know, we can't provide that specialized assistance. On the public housing side, Moore said the Housing Association wants to work with residents and offer payment plans if tenants are behind on the rent. For those living with housing vouchers, Director Pamela Jones Watford said people only need to report change of income and the agency will quickly decrease their share of rent to the landlord upon verification. We would definitely pick up that slack of any portion that they had. But they do have one more reminder. The moratorium is not rent forgiveness. In Norfolk, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. Remember, the Commonwealth offers a rent relief program for tenants and landlords. Virginia will pay a maximum of 15 months rent to help tenants during the pandemic.